Hello, everybody. Please like, subscribe. I'm uh, almost home from a trip up. See my mom, eat lunch with her. Uh, I went in halves on a pig with my sister. I got dog bones in the back and a little bit of beef. And quite a bit of pork and uh, different stuff, but I wanted to make a quick video talking about something somebody commented and, and you know, I don't like sharing my opinion because it's just that, it's an opinion and it's subjective and, and what works for me may not work for you and what works for you may not work for me. But this was concerning and out and setting the program back. And I agree 100%. Um, nothing we're doing is haphazard or not thought out. Some people can get away with, you know, whatever venue, whether they're doing sporting events, whether they're actually out hog hunting, they want to catch dog, great bite, will hold it all day. They want a lean, athletic dog for climbing up the wall or running the treadmill or the lure course. They want to breed confirmation champions together or grand champions. All that stuff works for them, and I get it. That's that's the deal. Uh, you know, that's probably part of that's probably for a different discussion. But we don't. When I talk about an outcross for us, we have old blood. Um, Stonewall, the, the, we're talking about dogs that were born in the early 80s. When I show Peds, if you're unfamiliar with the bottom side and you knew the top side and I could tell you that you know, White Diamondback Gus was a dog that was born in 85 and, and died in 98, you'd say, okay. So, a lot of breedings took place before we got these dogs. And, and with that said, we were able to look at those breedings and find out what was successful and what wasn't and plan accordingly. Um, Sativa has Calamity Jane. Ryder Sativa Sire is off a of half brother, half sister breeding of dogs. Calamity Jane being the common parent, the dam. Calamity Jane is Desert Ratch Champion Doc Holiday's litter mate sister, a line bred Stonewall dog. So when I talk about she's an out, it, it, she isn't out in the sense that I'm bringing the Stonewall back in and, and it's a breeding, a mix of blood that was successful in the past. Same thing with when I bred Marie. Marie was Sorrels, 50% Sorrels, 25 Anderson Stonka and Stonewall and put her back over uh, Diamondback a son of Stonewall, bringing her back into the Stonewall family. But again, that's a mix that history, it was done and it's a proven cross. Same with the Jeep Red Boy Rascal dogs that we have. You know, the, the cousin strains, the Jeep Rascal with the Red Boy out, it's a cousin strain. It, it, it's, you can keep them dogs really, it's tight honey brunch dogs bringing them back into more tight honey bunch stuff. So it, it, it's, we have dogs that I call out that it, it's not purely best of the best mixture of blood. I, I'm, I'm not one that does that or, or I should say believes in, in 
my ability to be successful breeding that way. So I'm doing what we're doing is what works for us and, and is just pulled in. Gets us uh, the best chance to be successful and, and to keep producing quality animals. Ultimately, that's the goal here. Keep producing quality animals. Um, I commented on it with somebody and, and I knocked on wood and I'll, I'll do it again. There's some wood right here. Uh, so far, we've been pretty successful with the animals that we sent out and, and not not a whole lot have come back and, and those that have come back have not been because somebody didn't like them so anyway uh i'm gonna get off here i got stuff to unload and stuff to do hope you all have a great night please like subscribe all that thank you